What is going on, football fans out there? And happy Turkey Day to all of you guys. And today we're going to have a little bit of something different. And we're going to talk about some of the games that I used to enjoy playing with my friends and relatives over the holiday break that brought back plenty of memories. So without further ado, let's hop into some of these holiday favorite football games. Okay, so we're going to cue this up correctly. And the one thing that I'm gonna focus on in this is music and football, because those things go together during the holidays. You're so first right. we're gonna start out, this is 1985, and a lot of you old heads have to remember this game, and it was 10 yard fight. And in that year, and during the holiday season, the number one song on the Billboard charts was we built this city and broken wings. A lot of you guys out there who are old heads like myself can remember that. The champions in college football, it was the Oklahoma Sooners with Brian Bosworth. And in the NFL, your Super Bowl champions were. Uh, but after watching all the games and listening to the music, you and your friends probably have battled it out on the console and or took turns playing in a game that was the staple that everybody was playing at that time in 85 was 10 yard fight. This classic game started in the arcades before actually making its way onto the uh, Nintendo Entertainment Systems. Now, the one thing that I can remember to stay stuck with me is how the quarterback would yell hut. I can remember uh, during the holidays sitting around with my brothers and cousins and just mimicking the quarterback saying hut and also the bizarre uh kick return where your guys would form almost like a circle around your returner in the middle they would just shed off blocks but this game brought back plenty of holiday memories back in the mid 80s i know a lot of you guys out there uh probably never played this but this is for you generation xers out there that can remember all the fun that you had in your grandparents' basement during the holidays, around the tree. Uh, yeah, plenty of hours of fun during the holidays. Now we go to 1997, and on the top of the billboard was Elton John with Candle in the Wind. We had Usher with You Make Me Want a lot of R&B songs, a lot of old groups, LSG. Uh, in college football this time, guess who was the national champions? Well, getting ready to be the national champions, your Michigan Wolverines. And in pro football, we had Brett Favre winning his first Super Bowl against the New England Patriots. But this brought on the wave of a new game that we all didn't expect to be as good as it was, which was NFL Game Day 98. Heavily slept upon but not forgotten is NFL Game Day 98. Now this game, uh, we really didn't expect this to be that good of a game, but it became a staple for the entire year of football. But the times that I can remember is during the holidays. Uh, didn't have that much money then, but we used to go to the old Blockbuster rent a PlayStation, rent a copy of Game Day 98, and me and my boys would pile up in our crib and play hours of Game Day 98. We even ran seasons. We had pools, putting money in, uh, getting into holiday fights, drinking too much liquor, all that good stuff that you do with your boys and family during the holidays. Uh, if you haven't got a chance to check this game out, Game Day 98, before the era of exclusivity in football gaming, this was a 100% gem. You're goddamn right. Okay, now to close this thing out, and this is probably the part that a lot of you guys out there can remember, we're going to go to 2013. We look at the billboard. At the top of the billboard was the Royals with a song called Lord. And then the song Roar by Katy Perry, which I'm sure we all heard enough of. Uh, Miley Cyrus is on the top of the billboards with Wrecking Ball. In college football in 19, 
I mean, sorry, in 2014, your national champions were uh, the Alabama. Nothing's changed since that time. And in the NFL, we had the rise of the Legion of Boom. But months prior to that, we pro probably all got our hands on one of the best football experiences that we've all had in a long time, which was the last college football game to be released. And I'm talking about NCAA College Football 2014. You're goddamn right. Now, I'm sure that I really don't even have to go into what this game did to all of us during the holidays. It was the uh, perfect match. You know, when you get around the holiday season on ESP and there's almost like a bowl game every single day, just the atmosphere of college football, uh, everybody's favorite team is available. I can't even tell you the amount of hours that I sunk into this game. It's the one that's within most recent memory. You see all the mods out there where they have college football revamped. And it's all because of this banger <laughs> right here. But I hope that this helped, uh, not help, but uh, let some of you guys go down memory road. Um, think about the holidays. And this is a special time of year. when We do get together with friends and family. And from us here at SGN Hub, I'd like to wish you happy holidays. And as always, I will see you either in the ring or you're probably in a couple hours at the table. So, peace. <laughs>